For more on North Korea, we're joined by Jamie Metzl, a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council. Jamie, good morning. Good morning. We just heard in the reporting there, the president had a conversation with President Xi Jinping yesterday. What can we actually expect from China? Well, I don't know if we can expect much because the United States policy is so chaotic and so unfocused. And under the Trump administration, the United States has given up so much of the leverage that we once had through things like jettisoning the TPP and undermining our alliances and just this sense that we are moving in so many different directions. It's hard to know what to expect, but China has real reasons to be concerned about what's, what's happening, not just because the level of rhetoric is getting so high and the tensions are, uh, are increasing, but also uh, there's a cost to China of this destable, uh, destabilizing North, uh, North Korea. And so for the Chinese, what they, I hope, will come to understand uh, is that this kind of nuclear armed and hostile North Korea harms their interests. And if we can help them get there, then that would be helpful for us. Jamie, we did learn Friday that there are some diplomatic back channels that have right. been essentially in effect for a few months now. Um, how effective do we think they are? Probably not very effective. There are very often some kinds of diplomatic contacts, even with uh, the North Koreans, and these are happening through New York. A lot of it has to do um, with these Americans who are being held in, in North Korea. Um, but even with that, we've seen a, a rapid deterioration of the already terrible uh, relations uh, between the United States and North Korea, such as, as, such as they are. So I, I wouldn't put too much hope into that uh, as being meaningful in, in, in any way. We heard from Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, and he talked about this combined message. Trump was sort of the force and the idea of diplomacy, that that's necessary to get North Korea to move at all. Is that accurate? I would feel so great if I could discern any kind of coherent strategy coming out of this administration. But from what I see, people at lower levels are trying to put together a strategy, and then the president seemingly on a whim will say some kind of crazy thing, and then everyone will scramble to say, oh, we're doing good cop, bad cop, or something else. So Tillerson is sort of that. responding and saying, backing up the president, yes. just in that he needs to. Well, if when the president says these things, then every if they say, oh, my God, we have no idea what he's saying. Like yesterday, he said that we're preparing military options for Venezuela. No one else in the government is, is preparing military options for invading Venezuela. So then what do you do if you have every day the people in the administration say, we don't even know what, what the president is talking about. What, what does that say? And that touches a bigger problem that we're facing here, that everyone is looking because we expect some kind of strategy, some kind of coherence to come out of the White House. But the, the, the underlying just stability and mental state of the president could be an issue that is maybe even bigger and broader than North Korea. All right. Jamie Metzl, thank you so much for being with us this morning.